Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is so exciting for me and I've been wanting to do this for so, so, so long now. I've just been putting it off for a really long time. I've asked you guys over on Instagram to ask me some questions about what I get up to, do like a Q&A little style video, nothing too serious. But we have a few questions here, but I'll answer them. I really appreciate everyone that's obviously sent in some questions. I was sitting here panicking, being like, what if no one asks me anything? So we'll start off with the easy stuff really basic stuff that people have asked. Someone has asked, how tall am I? So I'm actually 5'5". Five five. I feel like a few people may think I'm a little bit taller. So I'm 5'5", five five and I'm pretty sure it's just an average height. I'm not too tall, not too short, but yeah, 5'5". Five five. Next question is, how old am I? I'm actually 21 years old and I'm turning 22 in November, which is only a few months away. I'm so excited. Can't wait to play Taylor Swift 22 song. That's gonna be the vibe. I've been waiting all year to do that, so anyway. Someone else has asked, what are my hobbies? Instagram, I love taking photos of fashion. I'm a very creative person, so that's definitely one of my top hobbies. I played AFL for like five years, obsessed with AFL or sport in general. Being active, hanging out with my friends, things like that. Super fun. Next question is, do I have a specific diet? I wish I could sit here right now and say that I go to the gym four times a week, five times a week, but that's definitely not the case and super, super unrealistic. I don't have a gym membership. I work out at home or at the AFL field and there's no pressure on myself to work out and I think that's super important. I do eat pretty good and I enjoy healthy food, but again, there's no pressure on myself to have a specific diet. Someone's asked, what's your favorite food? I'm obsessed with most cuisines, to be honest with you. There's not much that I don't like. I'm determined with celery this year, which is such a random thing, but I never liked celery, now I like it, so I feel like I don't not like anything. I just like food. Someone's asked, what is your star sign? I'm actually a Sagittarius. I'm not really a huge star sign person. I definitely know a little bit about it, but I don't spend most of my time like reading up on it, but I definitely think I align with being a Sagittarius, that's for sure. Someone has asked, what is your current skincare routine? I'm currently using La Roche Posay products, The Ordinary products, and Paula's Choice products. Someone said, if you could go on a holiday anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? I probably would go to Greece. I'm supposed to be in New Zealand right now on a snowboarding trip, but obviously COVID. Where do I live? I currently live in Newcastle, New South Wales, a little town in Australia. Lived previously in a little place in the Hunter Valley, then moved here in December, and I am obsessed with Newcastle. Love the beaches. It's such a nice, fresh, start for me so following on from that question someone's asked how did you like the transition when you moved to Australia did you feel homesick or lonely this is a really good question you probably don't know this but I moved here in 2008 from the UK so from England to answer your question how did I like the transition I mean I was eight years old I didn't really know what was really going on like I knew I was moving but it was all exciting and when I got here I was a bit lonely different accent I was full Scottish with a little bit of English in there so my accent was very strong it's a good thing because everyone wanted to come and chat with me and listen to my voice so I feel like I made friends quite quickly which is good definitely wasn't homesick at all kind of was excited I guess so following on from that question someone said what do you miss the most from the UK Definitely the food. I'm obsessed with British food. Like, my mum makes the most amazing Yorkshire puddings still to this day. You know, I'm craving golden nuggets. It's just like cereal, these little round balls. I have the biggest craving and I have for years and I just can't find them anywhere. I heard there's a place in Warners Bay, which is near me, that sells them. So, I'm gonna have to go check that out. But yeah, definitely the food. Have you travelled in Australia since you've been there? Yes, I have and I'm so, so lucky and fortunate that my job allows me to travel all of Australia. It's such, such a beautiful country and I'm so blessed. So someone else has asked, do you love your job? Yes, I love my job and I'm just going to quickly touch on what I do because I'm answering a lot of job questions. I'm a flight attendant based in Sydney, Australia. I fly short haul international, so Australia, Bali, New Zealand, Fiji all that good stuff. I love my job. It's one of the best jobs ever. I suppose these questions must just all align with each other, but someone's asked, do you find balance with your job in daily life? Balance, yes, they give enough days off, but again, I'm normally quite tired, so it kind of goes hand in hand, I suppose, but I try my best, and I've definitely set a goal for myself when I go back to flying in 
a month's time actually, which is so exciting, to get up and do things for myself more. Alrighty, so coming up to the last few questions, but Harry and Glenn have actually asked a really good question, kind of similar to each other, so I thought I'd just answer this because it's really important to touch on. Harry has asked, how are you dealing with lockdown? I feel like this is super important to talk about, as we've all been in lockdown for so, so, so long now. I'm doing okay, to be honest with you. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would do. I think coming in and out of lockdown was a bit of a rocky road, but yeah, I'm doing a lot better now. I feel like a lot of you guys would have probably had a lot of struggles during lockdown, but again, mental health is not just during COVID. A lot of people have mental health problems that they deal with every single day and I'm definitely one of those people who have a lot of anxiety and things like that. It's just super important that you guys talk to your friends, talk to your family and I'm so so lucky that I have a really supportive family and amazing friends around me that I can talk to. Glenn also has a similar question just asking how is my mental health. It's super super important that we ask each other like how we're all going and things like that. I'm really motivated doing the videos, doing what I want to do um, and I think that's also a really important factor in having a good headspace is doing what you want to do. Go for a run if that's what you're into. For me it's just creating content, being creative, keep moving, hanging out with my friends. So yeah. So last question is introduce us to your dash hounds. <laughs> this is Paris. She is a dash hound sausage dog and there's actually two more of her. So one of three triplets and also the mother. So we have four in total. She's obsessed with me, I'm obsessed with her. I'm hoping to do some hauls, some makeup tutorials, some vlogs and things like that soon. So I'm pretty much just going to wrap this up here now guys. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed this little get to know me type video.